Today I got my new vlogging camera and a few other items. Okay, so obviously you already know what this is because it's in the title. So basically this will be my new camera to film me when I'm going out doing my landscape shoots. Obviously be using it a lot for the B-roll as well. I'm really interested to see how much this is gonna benefit for me. I have actually been filming everything on the A6300 and it's, it's been pretty good, but without the in-body stabilization, it's been a little bit difficult at times. And I've actually had to use my A7R3 for the B-roll, which is what I'm filming on now. Sony five-year warranty. Uh, I got this for free because I pre-ordered the camera, so that's a pretty good thing to have. Um, if the camera falls and breaks or something, that's uh, gonna help in the long run. Bubble wrap. All right. So there it is, in all its glory. So I've been waiting for a better camera for a while. I was gonna get the A6500, uh, but I kind of needed a backup camera for even when I'm photographing so sometimes it's really nice to have two cameras with you and not have to change your lenses and everything especially at concerts when there's a lot of lights and dust blowing around and stuff so um, certainly will help the camera strap which I'll pretty much never use so that will basically just stay in the box cables and just keep it in there for now charging port so this actually comes with the one that just plugs into the camera which is a little strange. I was actually thinking it would come with a bigger um, charging pack. Battery, it's the new um, MPFZ100 batteries. So these have quite a lot of life in them. And here's the camera. Well, the grip is actually quite different. They've actually made the grip a lot better on this. It's really comfortable. It's almost like a bigger DSLR. Goes up pretty much all the way, but it doesn't come that far down, but I mean, it's, it's good enough. I think, at least for my use, when I'm taking photos above crowds and stuff, I think it'll be fine. But obviously, as I said, I'll be using this as my new vlogging camera for my videos. So yeah, let's get on to the next items. I'll open this little package here. I ordered an extra battery. So I also ordered two uh, new lenses. One of them is the 85 1.8 by Sony, which I'll be using for when I'm taking portraits and stuff. Um, and then I also got the Samyang 14mm with autofocus, which I might actually use for while I'm vlogging. Yeah, so this is the 85mm. I actually thought it was going to be bigger than this. So yeah, as I said, I'll probably be using this for portraits and stuff. And um, I might actually use it at concerts as well sometimes, because having 1.8 is actually quite helpful, especially um, when I'm shooting concerts in darker venues. So the Samyang AF 14mm 2.8. I was actually considering getting the manual focus version, but after a lot of thinking and wanting it to have autofocus for videos and stuff, um, I kind of ended up just going with the autofocus version. This is actually smaller than the manual version because the manual version has is basically the same as what you would use on an Icon or Canon, but they've just extended the barrel on it to make it work on a Sony. So this is actually a lot nicer. Um, really nice design, actually. It's really sleek. It's not too heavy either. I was thinking it was gonna be quite heavy, but it's quite light. I'll probably be using this in my next video as my vlogging lens. Um, I'll at least give it a go and see what it looks like. My next video, I'll be using the a7 III and possibly the 14 millimeter otherwise i'll just use the 24 to 70 and then use the 14 millimeter on the a7r3 for taking my landscape shots if there's anything you guys want to know if there's anything you guys want me to test leave a comment below hope you guys enjoyed this i'll uh, see you guys in the next video